trees, tree stories, tree lore, towering trees. Trees, tree stories, jungle trees, ornamental trees, enormous trees, trees, forests, forests. Full of trees. Miles of trees, <laughs> miles of tree roots are all the same organism. Maybe the Buddhists are right. Trees, dead trees, gone trees, gone, gone, gone trees, gone, gone. I kiss my oak. I love my oak floor. An orange, a plum, a cherry. An apple, an orange, a plum, a cherry. An apple, an orange, a plum, a cherry. Fruit trees. Fruit trees. Oh. 
orangutans. Almost gone. <sighs> Tigers, almost gone. Toucan, toucan. Almost gone. Trees. Park trees. Trees in planters. When I lived in New York City, I spent so much time in Central Park. I pretended it was nature. I pretended it was nature. Finally, Unhappy carriage horses. <sighs> New York City, Central Park. Oh, the park is a giant planter. Roots blocked in by concrete. Land. The trees thrive in captivity. Oh, trees. When I was a little girl, Daddy came home with a pine tree, a sapling, a bendy, long-needled sapling. And he planted it by the house. And it grew, and it grew, and it grew so fast. And I would climb it. And when the wind would blow off the ocean, it would toss and turn. And I would hold on and be lashed around like magic, breathless, oh, free, oh, in my tree. Then the tree got too big and started hitting against the side of the house. Oh, boom, boom, da, boom, boom. And one day, I came home, and the men were in the yard, and they had cut, cut, they had cut my tree down. I did not speak to Daddy for a long time. Then, there was the rubber tree plant.
down on the corner lot by the vacant, vacant house. The rubber tree plant. And I climbed it. And the sun shone through the leaves mottled on me in the hot summer sun. In the hot summer sun. And I remember. <laughs> oh. I remember I remembered waterfalls. And I was gone. I was no longer me. I was no longer the little red-headed girl. Nope. I had gone native. Hoo -hoo. Joseph Campbell says, Young says, there is an indigenous archetype in the collective unconscious. This is just their way of saying they had their own rubber tree somewhere and they sat in it and they remembered. The native people don't like it when you say in a past life I was one of you. Because it might mean that in a past life, they were one of us. And it all gets very muddled. It all gets very muddled. I was always up a tree. I saw the tops of a lot of heads, the neighbor's heads, the postman's head, stranger's heads.
One day, I saw my mother's head and my father's head talking. For God's sakes, Ginny, my dad said, she might fall. She's up too high in the tree. Now, Maury, don't worry about her. She's fine up there. She's just fine up there, Maury. Just let her be. But Ginny, the roots, she might fall and hit her head on the roots. Maury, let her be. She's fine up there. They didn't think I could hear. And of course I might have fallen and smashed my head on the roots, but of course not. Of course not. I wasn't going to fall and smash on the roots because I was in the tree. And the tree had me. I had the tree. There was no possible way I would ever fall and smash my head on a root. No, no, no. <laughs> The forest is leaving. It's giving way to farmland, to pasture. Is there room? Is there room? Is there room? Is there room? For the forest. For the forest. Is there room? Is there room? Is there room for the forest? Can we make some room for the forest? Can we make just a little bit of room? Make room for the forest. Can we make room for our forest? Right? Make room for it. Stop it. Stop. You fuckers, stop it. Fuck you. Fuck the fucking farmer. room. There's room for the forest. Certainly. Have a seat. Right here. There's room right here. In this forest area. Right here.
Nonsense, nonsense. There's room for a forest everywhere. Could we forfeit a golf course? Perhaps. Could we forfeit an amusement park? Perhaps. Perhaps. Could we forfeit McMansion? McBruha. Of course. Of course we could. Of course we could. trees out there. These are birch logs. Imported from somewhere in Eastern Europe. Imagine the carbon footprint. It says on the label, environmentally responsible. It says on the label, environmentally responsible birch. What does that mean? What does it mean? What does that mean? Mm. Look at that. Look at that pattern. Imagine it. Mm. What does it mean? Environmentally sustainable firewood. Shall I freeze instead? Or frack? Shall I freeze or frack? Or fly south for the winter? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, Birch, for growing. Thank you, Birch. Thank you, Bamboo. Sometimes I wonder about that rubber tree and if it's still growing there. You know? 
Oh, it's a sun porch now. Still growing here. Still rooted here. <laughs>